Okay, so this is my makeup drawer. So I definitely need to clean out this drawer because it's been a while since I've last cleaned it and as well as there are so many like products I've used up like this one so I just need to clear some things up and also clean them, wipe them and also declutter some stuff. So let's go! So this here are pretty random actually. I definitely need to like sort things up but since there's quite a lot of stuff I know this might not be a lot compared to like other youtubers who had so much like makeup collection but for me like a normal person this is quite a little bit too much maybe so this tray right here is just full of random stuff there's lipstick lip gloss like mascara so I need to put this out here for now and this here are all my makeup brushes that I need to wash, yes. And here in the corner, it's a brow product. And I've been wanting to use this, but it makes me feel like I want to like open it with you guys and make a review about it. So if you're interested, just definitely let me know. And a bunch of random stuff. Again, I, and I need to get rid of some stuff. And this is the last part. Oh wow, this is heavy. I need to like take some stuff out. So mostly these are my foundations. And I also had like two foundations on the other drawer, like below just drawer, that I need to use up before I like try to use these. I'm just gonna take them out. Too faced. And I've been loving this. Some eyelashes. These are actually full of eyelashes, not medicine. Look, like what my used eyelashes that can still be reused. So I don't know what that one is. Okay, so first thing that I really want to declutter are these. These are like makeup sponges, but they are from the dollar store. And I was excited because they're so cheap, like $2 as far as I remember. And when I opened them up, these are so... I don't know, can I say hard? But it's not hard. Like the other beauty blenders that I've tried, like the Real Techniques, of course the real beauty blender and like the L'Oreal one they are so soft and at first I thought that oh maybe if I wet them they're gonna be like softer but no when I use this it's definitely like like I'm pounding or like literally beating my face so I'm gonna ri get rid of this it's this here no strip I love no strips I have to use this this oh wow I have new ones and I forgot from where it is I'm guessing it's from Ardell the Medicube one that I need to use as well and this one I need to like take this off from the packaging and these are my I don't know oh I remember I used to have like a clog nose or something I was sick and this was prescribed to me I think it's already expired it doesn't yep it's expired guys it's a 2018 March I have to get rid of this so next oh I love this palette it's a drugstore one and I recently just purchased this one because I love this one so much and I've been into like the natural neutral kind of look and shade so I give this a try and I'm still gonna keep them next essence oh I love this one like I don't use like the middle shade that much but I definitely use this too so I wanna hit pen with this and this wow this you couldn't even like read the name anymore this is actually old I think I got this like two years ago I definitely should get rid of it yes it only says here like 12 months so this has expired the only reason why I cannot let go of this is because of this shade like if you've watched my video I guess like around 2016 you've know that I've used this a lot 
because it's affordable and these two are good shades and this three actually are meh but these two as you can see like it has like dents because I kept on using it but now I realize it has expired and maybe I'll just try to get this shade next time and this one yeah I'll definitely get rid of this now so next this blush I still love this blush it's kind of peachy orangey one like the other one but this one is too orange but this one is kind of like red tone in it so I really like this I don't use blush that often but I only use this two and I want to like hit pan before I like purchase or try another one now for these this is a new one so I just recently purchased it but I purchased this by like mistake not by accident by but by mistake I thought it was like a pinky shade but it was actually like a purplish one so I still want to keep it because I have this covergirl roses and it has like a plum or like pinky purplish color right here and I just want to add a little bit of like shimmer and this will do now for my color pop ones oh i think i have to get rid of this one like, oh but now i've seen it again i want to keep it but i only use like these color pop during like the fall season because like the warm tone in it is really really pretty um, I'm definitely sure I'm gonna keep this this one let's put it in a maybe last the eyeshadow part are these H&M ones I still love this these are so pretty there are more on like glitters they're very glittery but on their own they don't show that much but when you put like this gold or like this silver one on top of like a, another glitter shadow it's definitely pretty so I'm gonna keep this okay next so these part right here are like pressed powders this one from H&M I still love it and also this one this one is more of like my everyday pressed powder and I haven't hit pan yet so I'm still gonna use it until I hit pan and try any other one like the next one I want to try after I've used this up is the fit me loose powder because my mom has one and if you've seen like my past video the using my mom's makeup I, I like that powder so I'll definitely purchase that next so next here are my what you call this again? highlighter so this one I love, I use this like every day and this one I, I think I have to declutter this. I have loved this because it has like a natural shine when you put it on your face but I don't know I, I just don't have, I just don't like it anymore. Maybe it's because it's like pressed or baked baked highlighter and I have other baked highlighters in the past and it just didn't work out for me and I have seen a lot of like youtubers raved about this so I definitely tried it and I loved it to be honest but now I just I just don't reach for it anymore so oh wow now that I see that kind of like sheen highlight in the camera it's oh it's hard for me to let go okay I'll definitely keep this and I need two highlighters to be honest I haven't used this for a while wow wow but wait let me check 12 oh so this has definitely expired so <laughs> okay I have to let go of you now even if you're still pretty but you have already expired so bye bye and also the butter bronzer yes definitely a keep this is the only bronzer I have so I have no reason to, like put this away or like to declutter this okay for the lipsticks ah oh, these nude shades I'm still keeping still keeping this one I I just don't like the formula of this oh but it's so pretty come on 
I'm gonna keep, keep, and this one I'm still gonna keep because this is the only like black lipstick that I have and sometimes I'm in that like grungy edgy mode so I'm still gonna keep it. This one for everyday use, yes, keep. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep all of this. And actually this one is like my favorite one, it's from Rimmel. Forgot what shade is this? It's the 104. The smell is so good as well. I don't know why. It's just very, very good. Like this is my all-time favorite. And let me just like swatch it for you guys. It has like nude, nude purplish undertone, and I love it. Okay, so let's move on into this next pot, which is kind of random. It has lipstick and stuff. This one is a color tattoo. Oh, I love like pastel pink or pinky shades. Oh wow, yes, I'm still gonna keep this. I wanna keep this because I still use this in like the inner part of my lips to make that gradient natural red lip effect. So I'm gonna keep this one. I don't know how I feel about it because I have so much like pink lipsticks already oh that is like very bright pink though and I don't have a bright pink so maybe that's the reason why I kept this I'm still gonna keep this this one is actually just a recent my most recent purchase it's by pixie it's in the shade really rose now I love 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 the formula of this it's just the only thing that disappointed me was like the lip shade because in the packaging this is like what the lip shade I was expecting but it was like one or two darker than that so maybe next time I'll just purchase like the pastel one I pa petal or pastel but it has like a pastel or petal name because that was like a really good pink shade and this was like a little bit of darker pink it's, it's actually kind of nudish as well yeah, there you go. So it's really dark. I was expecting like around this shade, but it was too dark. But I'm still gonna keep this because it was a recent purchase and I still love the formula. And it's very wearable all throughout the day. Now these here, my color stay eyeshadow primer. Yes, I'm still gonna keep this. This is my only eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna keep it. I have these metal ones and they are actually just recent purchase as well and I'm still testing them out but so far I have used this shade a lot because I just have this Too Faced Just Peachy palette which is definitely I'm gonna keep and I put the I use this for like the shimmer one or like the glitter one and I'm still testing it out I was so excited to try them at first because I really wanted a Stila like glitter one like this but then again, it was so expensive that I just want to try to find like a dupe, dupe for it. So I'm still trying them out. Can you see that shine? Whoa. Now the last part is this one. So this is my daily moisturizer. So definitely keep it. Uh, I have to like clean this. My eyelash curler, glue lash. What's this one? also eyelash adhesive so I'll keep this these I'll keep for my for my fake lashes so this one this one I have to get rid of it oh I remember why I purchased the other one where was that I remember why I purchased this because I wanted to have this like the clippy thingy for the eyelashes but I couldn't find one and then this specific like eyelashes had this small version of this so that's why I had to like purchase this just for this and I didn't even like it so I'm gonna get rid of this and nail cutter nail clippers why are they even here I know the nail cutter is here because I'm always on my desk and if there's like a broken nail or something I can fix it so that's why and a perfume sample I have to put this in my purse let's go over with this one so this is like a MAC gel liner. 
which I don't even use gel liners and I haven't touched this for months so since MAC is quite expensive and high-end I will definitely give this to my mom she might want it before I like, declare it this one BTLA eyebrow powder I don't know why maybe it's just too sentimental that's why I kept this because I had I purchased this when I was still in the Philippines when I was still learning makeup and during like my college days I don't know how to do my brows and I had to go to a mall and a lady there or like a sales lady did my eyebrows using this product and I really really love how it looked so that's why I purchased this but in the end I don't even know how to like properly use this and I still keep it until to this day but I'm pretty sure this is already expired because I still purchased this back in college maybe that was like 2014 or 15 so where are we now 2018 it's definitely expired but I have to get rid of you I don't even use you okay bye this one oh, I love this mascara it's you've probably seen this already on my channel one day my mom was at home and then she had like a mascara on and I thought that she was wearing false lashes and I asked her your false lashes are so pretty like where did you purchase them she said no I only use this mascara I was like what really it looks like you have eyelash extensions on or like fake eyelashes so that's why I got this I'm still gonna keep it now now color pop as you can see they're quite old and I have to get rid of this unfortunately okay this is just a recent purchase and you can see there's still like a tape on because I haven't used it yet but I will use it soon And also these, I love this Superstay ink ones. At first, oh, I have to wipe this. I'm really sorry. So at first, I didn't really like them because they were they were so sticky and it feels really thick, a really thick formula on my lips. And I still gave them a try, like for a week. And I realized I really love them, so I'm definitely gonna keep. I'm just gonna like wipe this. Well, well, my Kat Von D ones. I'm gonna keep this because they are just like expensive and I don't want to waste my money. I want to use them up first before like I throw them, so still keep. And these ones, I really, really love this uh, velvet lip cream from H&M. I really recommend this for like a velvet feel, like a velvet formula. These are so good. I'm gonna keep this. What's this one? Dazzling white strand whitening pen for the teeth. So this is old and I haven't really used this because the first time I even use it, it doesn't really f taste good. So it's like you're putting a chemical into your teeth, which is I think quite a make sense it's chemical to whiten your teeth or whatever but I'm not comfortable with this so I have to get rid of this these I have to get rid of because it has dried out and this is like also my all-time favorite eyeliner at first I really hate like the tip of this but then when I got used to it I just love the formula it doesn't smudge at all especially with the this one the waterproof one I love it it's really hard to take off and this is also my favorite pen oh no it's also empty so I have to get rid of it this gloss I just love a clear lip balm and this tastes so good it's like coconut I love it still gonna keep and these ones I love these ones as well but I had to like purchase four of them like especially this one I have used this a lot last fall and winter 
it's because they stay on my lips for so long like all day I go to work in the morning I go to school at night I don't even reapply I just use this and it feels so good and on the other side it has like lip balm so it's a win-win okay I don't know if oh this is a new one okay so I'm definitely gonna keep that and these are like my lip liners I still use them so I'm gonna keep them and these ones I don't even know why I purchased this because I, they are pretty actually but it's just I don't know how to use them I'm aware that these are like shimmer strips but what should I do with it like should I blend it like this and I've gotten this for like a long time already and I'm pretty sure they already expired but this one I'm gonna keep this one because it has a very pretty blue right there which I can still use if I want to look crazy not crazy but like e extraordinary is not even the word but I'm gonna keep this all right so next one is this one I'm gonna get rid of this because this has dried out already and for these ones these are my all-time favorite I Wow, I really love it, especially this one. It gives my m lashes volume, it lengthens, and like the pigment, how dark it is, I love it. Same as this one, definitely will repurchase if I ever run out of it. Okay, this is also a recent purchase, the color correcting ones, and I love them. I love using them. For most of the time, they do like color correct. They are just like, if I had like a very red pimple and I use this green correcting one, it does not cover all the redness, but it like subsides the redness, if that makes sense. So I'm okay with that. So I'm still gonna use them up and try other like color correcting ones after this. And these one, I don't even know why I purchased this. I was just so desperate to look for like a color correcting one. And I only used this for like three times actually. And this is so expensive for a drugstore, Maybelline. It's like almost 15 Canadian dollars. Are you kidding me for this like color correcting stick alone? And these ones are like, two of them are like less than $15. And this one is $15 already, are you kidding me? But I will not get rid of this because I still want to make use of it. These color pop one. Uh, I just love the red one in this. I'm still gonna keep this. I don't have a really really bright wet red like this, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this concealer is almost gone, but I'm gonna keep it just to like make use of it or like finish this up. This one, I don't even know. Oh, this is from Clinique. I love how natural this lipstick is and it has a gloss on the other side but I think it has already expired because I have this since I was in college so I'm definitely gonna get rid of this this one I also love this one but I don't know why I still love the Essence Lash Princess and the XX volume but if I run out of those this is definitely one of my go-to's I really really love it it volumizes lengthens yes and this gloss was a gift from my mom's friend and this is from Victoria's Secret. I just love how glossy it will look on your lips, so I'm gonna keep this. This one is new, I just recently opened it, definitely a keep. And this one I still have to use it up. This one, I purchased this by accident because I was thinking it was like an eyeliner thing and it's like a vibrant shop eyeliner thing but it's not it's a mascara metallic mascara why why would i even purchase this i should have read it properly before i purchased it but since it's already here maybe i'll use it for halloween i don't know i'm still gonna keep it this one i'm using it currently and this also i'm gonna use it currently i'm definitely gonna keep it Okay, so now since I've emptied like the containers, I will just wipe them up and put them back. Yes, some Lysol wipes to disinfect. Also, these are like my everyday makeup brushes and I have another storage actually for 
my other makeup brushes but this is what I mostly use every day and I have to like wipe this thing and take this like tissue out to cut to get like the fallouts and change it to a new one and I'm also gonna wash this don't worry Okay, so I have finally finished like rearranging and cleaning up my makeup drawer and these are the stuff right here that I'm gonna declutter and most of them are actually it's either expired or I just don't really use them and these are like a bunch of old makeup and empties. So it's not a huge declutter but I'm actually happy decluttering even just like small stuff like this because I feel like refreshed, like getting rid of some things I don't really really use that often. So it's good. Okay guys, so before I go, I just want to give you like a quick tour of how I arranged it now. So this drawer was actually meant for everyday use, but since I can't put all the foundations here and it just ends up in a clutter. So I've decided this area here will be full of like eye makeup, like for mascaras, eyebrow gel, mascaras, like some concealers right here, and my everyday dip eyeliner, brows, and also lip balms, brow pencils. And below, beneath it, are like the stuff that I don't reach for everyday, like these foundations. After I've used up the two foundations on, on my project pan that I want to use up before using this. So I'm excited to try out this one. I recently purchased this. And also this stuff right here are the ones that I don't reach for every day. So it's okay that they'll be here at the bottom. And here I just have like the Medicube foundation. And also this primer and the setting spray which is easy to access if I want to prime my face that day which I don't prime every day but if I there's a need to do I have it here and also my setting spray and these are all like my makeup brushes and moving on to this next part and in the back I just have like my nose strip and pimple patches and these are like my fake lashes like their storage and here's another like fake lashes that I've been using a lot recently the Demi Wispies and since this one couldn't fit if I like put it like this and when I close it it doesn't close so decided to put it like this and I still have this Fenty one right here and also extra pair of fake eyelashes now on this part where it used to be like the eyeshadow section we're now full of like all lip products and I've moved like some of my eyeshadow palettes in here because I'm planning to like purchase more eyeshadow palettes because I'm planning to purchase more eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore to try them out so I want to have like more space for it when I finally get them and these are just like color tattoos, eyeshadows, like single eyeshadows 
and on this part is actually pretty random I have like the tools maybe these are like the tools area like the adhesive and this is where I put my daily moisturizer on this part are like the cheeks part or face part I just have like the pressed powders the only bronzer that I have and some face powder and also some blush on this part are also like eye, eye related, eye lid related like the metal shocks and the eyeshadow primer and this part right here which I really like are the lipstick part so it kind of feels weird that it's empty here and maybe they might fall but it's okay I just need what I only use for now so this is it I really hope that you guys like it don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment Thank you so much for watching and God bless you.